more on these elections. Let's head outside uh, in Istanbul with our correspondent Jasper Mortimer. Jasper, uh, we've had more than 70% of the votes counted, I guess, uh, already in Istanbul. Um, what is the latest uh, that we know uh, from these votes? The opposition candidate, the incumbent mayor, Ekrem Imamoglu, has got 50.4% of the vote. Uh, his challenger, um, Murat Kurum, uh, the pro-Erdogan party uh, candidate, has got 40.8%. In other words, uh, the opposition candidate is beating the government candidate by nearly 10%. Uh, and as the ballots counted, are 77%, it doesn't look as if that result is going to change. In Ankara, as you were saying, Mansour Yavash has claimed victory. He was getting 26% more votes uh, than the pro-government uh, challenger for mayor. But equally significant is that the opposition has won a majority of seats on the city council. Previously, Mansour Yavash had to work with a, a, a pro-Erdogan majority on the Ankara City Council. But now the opposition has gained the majority, and that will free up Mansour Yavash's hands uh, to pursue the projects to which he is committed. In Izmir, the third big city in, Istan, in uh, Turkey, the opposition candidate is winning by 11% ahead of the pro-government candidate. Uh, there's some very interesting trends that you've picked up uh, throughout the campaign, Jasper. Uh, can you take us uh, through some of them? Interesting ones is that the Kurds in Istanbul, who are 10% of the electorate, voted tactically. They decided to vote for uh, Ekrem Imamoglu as mayor of the greater city of Ankara, of a, he is of a different party to the Kurdish party, which is called Dem, and they voted for Dem candidates at uh, a district level. Uh, so, you know, uh, Dem's mayoral candidate in Istanbul only got 2% of the votes when the Kurds make up 10% of the electorate. So there was clearly uh, a feeling among the Kurds that they should back Imam Oğlu, even though he comes from a different party. Anybody but the government candidate must win Istanbul. A second trend is that the new welfare party, um, an Islamic group, appears to have defeated Erdogan's party in two provinces in central Anatolia, Yozgat and Şanlıurfa. Uh, the new welfare party came up with two uh, policies that were widely supported, stopping trade with Israel because of its war with Hamas, uh, Turks traditionally support the Palestinians, and also raising pensions. The lowest pension in Turkey is below the minimum wage. And these two have reaped a reward for the new welfare party. A third a trend is that the good party, which broke away from the opposition alliance, saying that it wanted to win power in Turkey on its own right, has collapsed. Turkish political commentators have been saying on television tonight that the political stones of Turkey have shifted.